Hey, what's up, man? Big C Executive Exotics. Back again for another episode of Trio, man. Special feature we do around here where we break down the truth and the real about a particular topic. So, yeah, on this episode, we're going to talk about buying dogs and different procedures, how people go about buying dogs, you know. Some people, uh, you know, send in half of the money. Some people send in a portion, get the dog later, pick the dog up, drop off the rest, nanny the dog, nanny drop off the dog, uh, give the rest of the money, whatever. People do it a million different ways. Today I'm gonna talk about an in particular story, and it's the only time I ever saw this. And yeah, I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was an interesting story the way it happened. I was brand new. And, and didn't know a lot about it. And so, when I come back, we're, we're gonna get, get into this and unpack it a little bit. So, I was looking for a blue girl. And I talked to a guy, he had a blue girl. He was in Florida, I remember. I ain't gonna blast his name or whatever. But I was interested in the girl, and she looked great, everything was cool. So we all but had the deal set up. And, uh, you know, he just sent me the blood, sent me all of the good stuff. Everything looks great. And so he says to me, yeah, man, uh, I can't put the dog on the plane without the whole, I think it was $8,000, without the whole $8,000 being paid. $8,000. Now, I don't know about y'all, like I always say. I ain't rich around here. I can't just send nobody 800 and, and hope that they did me right. This man wasn't family. I didn't know him from Adam from Eve. He's just another Joe Blow to me. So uh, yeah. it was one of those things where, no, nah, I'm dog. I'm not about to send you $8,000 and I don't even know you. Bye, so he got real upset and basically told me if I go somewhere else, I ain't gonna get no quality. Yet. If I don't fuck with him, who knows what I'm gonna get? And people try to get you. And, you know, he was basically trying to sabotage me and talk me against going to somebody else. Now, I don't know if he was a scam or not. It sounded scammy. I told some of my people about it. It sounded scammy. I've dealt with people since. You know, nobody else ever proposed a deal like that. You know, I would suggest do everything at the airport, man. That's the safest way. Whether you coming in, leaving out, the airport is a nice and safe environment. And you know, had the bag ready. They come with the dog. You take a look at it and exchange it, and just do it like that. I mean, that's like old school business. I'm not telling like some new breakthrough. Do everything at the same time. You know, what if somebody send the dog, man, and it's you get it? You just sent all your money out. The dog sickly looking, look crazy when it get there. You don't want to be going through that. You might see the dog. And heaven forbid, you could see something, a couple of things that's a deal breaker to you. You might bring your partner out there or something and y'all take a look at it and y'all say, well, dang, man, I didn't even know that the dog limped or I didn't know that the dog do this or do that or, you know, you don't want to put yourself in that kind of situation and you just sent all your money uh, anywhere, overseas to another city, another state, anywhere. So the best advice I can give to you, man, do your due diligence. Don't send no money out to nobody unless you really mess with them and you can trust them. And even still take a look at the whole situation and evaluate it. From Big C, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Trill. Until the next time.